Infrastructure Minister Stevenson King says the government needs more resources from funding agencies to fully dredge the John Compton Dam. The program began in 2020 under the United Workers' Party administration. Since its construction in 1995, the dam has accumulated silt from major rain events including Hurricane Debbie in 1994, Hurricane Thomas in 2010 and the 2013 Christmas Eve trough. So we do have to go back to the funding agencies to try and get some more resources to attempt to do the overall desilting of the John Compton Dam. While some progress has been made, 90% of the reservoir desilting remains unfinished. That project was attempted by the last administration. They, have, they were able to achieve 10% of desilting. 10% of desilting. We are now looking, well rather, um, last year we were able to open up one, um, one valve to allow for the outflow of um, excess water and for, for, for cleaning. The John Compton Dam Rehabilitation Project began with constructing a sediment disposal area and a pipe to transport silt. Dredging, the second phase, aims to increase reservoir capacity and ensure consistent water supply to northern districts upon completion. Additionally, it seeks to expose a valve buried under sediment, enhancing drought resilience. Gino Filippi, HCS News Force.